Okay, today we're going to be looking at balancing the equation. But before we can balance an equation, let's look at what an equation is. An equation is a math expression that has an equal symbol. This is the equal symbol. When we think of balancing something, whatever we have on one side, we need to be able to have it on the other side. Let's look at our problem. 8 plus 12 equals question mark plus 9. The question mark is an unknown number, so we don't know that number yet, which means we're not able to start on this side just yet. So therefore, I have to start with the 8 plus 12. Okay, so we need to solve 8 plus 12. Who can tell me how we're going to go about solving that number? Yes. You're going to start at 12 and do the count on method and then count on 8. So use a count on method, start at 12 and go up 8. So we have 12 here, so I'm going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I'm going to count them. I'm going to say 12 in my head, then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Therefore, 8 plus 12 is 20. That does not mean that I'm going to put 20 in the unknown space. That's not what that means. That means that whatever this side is equal to, I need this side to be equal to. So now that I know that my left side is 20, got my equal side here, and my right side needs to equal 20 as well, what do I do about solving this unknown number? Yes? You like count on from nine to, until you get to 20. So use the count on method again. I'm gonna count from nine until I get to 20. Very good. So that is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I need to count how many counters that I have. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which makes this number here 11. So now that I have 11 plus 9, what is that going to equal to? 20. 20. Did I balance the equation properly? Yes. yes. 20 on the left, 20 on the right, and I have my equal sign in the middle. So I did do it correctly. Good job. Let's try another example of balancing the equation. What happens when you have an equation that has a subtraction and addition sign in it? What we're going to do is, again, we're going to solve the side that has both numbers available for us to solve which is the 22 plus 8. If we don't know what 22 plus 8 is, we're going to use the count on method. But it's 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I say 22 in my mind. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That means that 22 plus 8 is going to be equal to 30. I'm going to put my equal sign back right here. Now we have to figure out how to solve for the unknown number on this side of the equation. Well, I know that my answer has to equal to 30 because this side of the equation is equal to 30. One thing I know about 30 is if I have 30 and I add on 10 more, that's going to equal to 40. So if I have 40 minus an unknown number, I'm going to say that that, own, that unknown number is 10 because 40 minus 10 is equal to 30. 30 is equal to 30, so we have now balanced the equation.